It's going. Hey, it's Courtney and my daughter Maggie Lynn. And we are going to paint today. We're going to show you how to make this cute bunny. An Easter egg and three carrots and some swirly skies. Okay. Maggie Lynn's going to show you what we need. We need a pencil. Something to do it on. A paintbrush. Paper plate. You don't have one, do you? Well, you have that. Or anything to put paint in. Uh, a paper towel. Check. A cup of water. Oh, yeah. A paintbrush, she already said. And then we're going to have several different colors to use. Um, we're going to do, okay, lilac mist, pink eraser, white, of course, Kelly green, blue bonnet, Key West, yellow. And pumpkin orange. And a pumpkin orange. They don't have to be these exact colors, but these are the ones that I chose from all of my office um, paints that are scattered around the room. So um, there you go. We'll get started with our pencil and our. I'm using this um, board. It's like a canvas panel, and Maggie Lynn is using an eight by ten um, canvas. <laughs> so first we're going to draw this bunny. Um, some of y'all are doing this um, in Texas or around the, the place um, and you don't have the option but if you're going to buy um, a thing from me I can draw this out for you uh, or for your kiddo before it's time. So first off we're going to put a little mark in the center of our board. We're going to go up about two inches and put another little mark. First mark, second mark. And then we're going to make an oval. You want to make it kind of light, but it's going to be an oval. About that wide. My Elon's doing good too. It does look also kind of like an egg. <laughs> and then your center point, you're going to have one ear that goes to one side, and another ear. goes on the other side. Maggie Lynn is doing good too. All right, now we're going to make a parenthesis um, shape from, gotta get my pencil to do right. But we're just gonna make a line from the head down to the end of the page, and then put this. Make sure this little mark is kind of in the middle, and then one on the other side. And these can be as hard or as soft as you would like, um, but the lighter it is, the easier it is to cover up. You're going to do. We're going to paint. Um, we're going to draw out our carrots and our egg. So next step. is to draw a little parenthesis up here. And then you're gonna make some squiggly marks down to the bottom. And then you're gonna make three little loopies at the top. Maggie Lynn's doing just good. 
On the other side, we're going to go a little bit higher for one of ours, and a little bit lower on the other. See, I put one up here, and then I put one down here. And you're going to make a squiggly mark. One will be short into the bunny, like it's coming from behind, and one will be down like that. And the other one's going to have your squiggle marks down. And then be sure to go ahead and add your tops. Ta -da. On top of those lines, we're going to make our Easter egg. So we're going to start about right here. We're going to make a tiny little mark, little parenthesis right there. And then, don't know how to hold this where y'all can see it, but then we're just going to come down on one side and down on the other side. That one's kind of skinny, so I'm going to make it fatter. I don't have an eraser or I would erase my bad lines, but it's just going to be kind of in this general idea. This is a sketching kind of a mark. So just so you'll know where it is, it doesn't have to be exact. So we're ready to paint. I'm not going to draw out the little uh, grass down here at the bottom because we can just add that in later. Um, or I guess we can. Do you want to? Sure. We'll add some grass. We forgot the bunny's tail, too. Alright, so I added a little bunny tail. And then I also added some grass down there at the bottom. Alright, let's check in on Maggie's. Hers is doing good, too. She's a professional. All right, so we're ready to start painting. We're going to start with our blue paint, which is blue bonnet. And I'll squirt some on Maggie's plate and I'll squirt some on mine. And you are just going to paint all of the outside. I'm going to flip this around so you can see, hopefully. We're new at this. Yeah, we are new at this. <laughs> well, it won't let me flip it around, but I'll just hold it. We're just going to go around the bunny. This is difficult. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to make sure that you get all of your clumps out. It will take too long to dry. You can paint the sides if you want, or you don't have to. How are you doing, Maggie Lynn? Right there. Okay. 
This is a very pretty blue. It's got just a smidge of a purple tint to it, I think. It's also a primary color. Magdalene, do you remember what a primary color is? Yes. Blue, red, and yellow. Blue, red, and yellow. And blue, red, and yellow are co the colors that we can make most colors with. We can't make black or white from them. But we can make brown, most definitely. Yes. And purple with red and blue. Yep. This above my wall. I'm almost done with my background color. Let's check in with Maggie Lynn and see how she's doing. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just doing our background right now. Let's check on Maggie Lynn's. Oh, Maggie, you're doing very good. You got some clumpy paint right here. We're just gonna spread that out. If it's clumpy like that, it's just gonna take a long time to dry. Make sure I don't have any clumpy spots. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Same thing. I'm going to rinse out my brush. When you're rinsing out your brush, you can make a figure eight in the water. Wipe it off. I think that's right. Do I do it right there? Nah. Next up is our white. We're going to paint our white bunny. You need to rinse out your brush. Okay. It's best if your bunny, uh, the blue, is dry around your bunny. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit wet right here. So I think I might pause and dry it a little bit more. So we'll be right back.